Hello travelers, I'm Timothy French. We're in Cerro Gordo, North Carolina to continue on a quest to visit every town center in the state. So let's get started right here by the railroad tracks and the Wallace Green Propane Company, which looks a little overgrown and I don't think they're in that building anymore. And there's a couple other buildings down that way. Yeah, I believe the original town centers right along these tracks here where got old Rev Park. But if you go on to the right here up to the bypass, all the stores are right there now. So I think that's where everything's set up. So we're gonna cross the tracks here. Get on red and we'll just do a little drive through here of this little town. Yeah, it's quiet out here, but there's a lot of traffic out on the other road. Town got it started in the 1800s. It's named after the Battle of Cerro Gordo down there in Mexico. I don't know how they came about naming this town that way, but they did. So let's get on a rev and check it out. Hope I didn't get any nails in my tires pulling in this parking lot. I had a couple in them the other day and I had to fix. You never know when you pull off the road. <laughs> sometimes you get lucky and don't get any, and sometimes you do get some. All right, let's close this door. Get old Rev going. <laughs> uh oh. Forgot to put the seat belt on. Y'all hold on. Safety check complete. So right us on around town here, Rev, after this truck comes by. Gets out of our way. Here we go through the intersection. Let's go see what's on down this way first. Past these big old drums. I guess that's what that is. So got a little building there. I can't tell what that is. Could be the town hall, but we're gonna turn. I don't think it is. Let me look. Sarah Gorda. It might be. No flag up there, dude. So I don't know. I can't see because that truck's in the way. Y'all let us know if you live here. We're gonna cross the track and go back up into town. <clears throat> back up into town. Let's straighten this camera out a little bit. Like propane over there too, that big company that don't look like it's here anymore. Had a lot of propane business here at one time. Maybe they moved out here. To everybody else, let's go see. Let's go see. 35 miles an hour through here. Church on the right, and some nice houses coming up here on the left. Yeah. Good job, those houses right there. Come decorated up nice. Guys got him a shop behind his house. Wow, there's that tiny house right there. That's cool. I don't know if y'all can see it through the window. Got a little community building right there. Yeah, I don't think y'all can see that tiny house. We do it small. Served its purpose, though. So we're coming up on the bypass and where all the businesses are now. They have left the railroad tracks behind and come on up here. Look at there. Honor system. Don't see that much these days, so that tells you a lot about the people that live here. That's good. All right, way up here, we got a family dollar. Dollar General done moved in. Things like that. I'll take a right. I'll let you see it's up here. This is their West Columbus High School. It's Columbus County. It's like a nice one. Everybody in there learning something today, I guess. We learned a little bit about the town, at least we saw it anyway. If you guys live here, tell us, tell us about your town, opinion, all. We'd love to hear from you. I'm going to end it right here. Hope you enjoyed this walk and drive of Cerro Gordo, North Carolina. If you did, I appreciate it. If you like, subscribe and share. Y'all take care. There's post office down here. <laughs> Might as well let you see that while I turn around. <laughs>